in permanence. Yeah, I saw it. I saw it. Perfect, perfect. No, practice don't make perfect. Practice make permanence. Yo, what's up guys? It's your boy Cool Man 100 x How y'all guys doing? Welcome back, niggas. I'm about to show you guys a quick tip. This is for people that just started in the mud, just getting in the game. The game's still a little bit early. I just want to give you a good tip that you want to start your mud team. Um, a lot of people don't know. They just go on the damn auction block and don't know what to do. So, I'm about to show you guys just a little quick tip that'll help you guys look for more cheap players and a little bit more. Now, we're going to go to elites really quick. Now, when you're looking for an elite player, you're looking for, they always have them mixed up, the cards and everything. Now, this is a great tip. Now, you can go to your buy now price. And you can see the cheapest card that's available, which is that card. Now, what's really cool is that if you don't want the cards, like the uh, upgraded cards and stuff like that, the you know the Nick Foles, you got to you know the the uh, set cards in there. You can go to um, buy type, and you can set it to anything that you want. If you want coaches, playbook, uniform, stadium, collectibles offense if you want a pacific position if you want a pacific position on defense or if you want just all defensive players or if you want just kicker or punters now this is just an example if you're looking for a qb you go to the qbs and you already have the buy now price set sometimes you just got to reset it and also uh go back to it and to give you the cheapest player that's available at that time right now it's available for 14k you can get it for 57 minutes left now this is a choice that you can do as well you can go to the price just for the prices and show you available prices that's available within in the minutes and hours now this is for the newest car that's available now which you can get uh nick Foles for 63 these are the new cars that's out that's coming out also, you can go for cap value if you a salary cap player. You can look for cap value players. You can look in the left upper corner of the card, and it will show you 41 cap on each player. Now you can go to the time remaining. Like if you want to look for a specific card with a time remaining, if you feel as though you can get that card within that time, like seven minutes, six minutes, stuff like that. And also you can go to A to Z uh, from all player from A to Z, Brady all the way down to that letter. Or you can go by Pacific overalls all the way up to 92, all the way down to the lowest overall possible. And also you can go to the number of bids that people that made it on. They made 5, 35 bids on that player. But I like using buy now prices. That's what make it easier. Now this is really cool too that I help you out to work the auction block just a little bit better. Um, I'm going to go back to all. Well, I can keep it on QB. I just go to halfbacks for a different player now. Let's say if you're looking for a halfback and you want a certain team that you want to look for. Like, I wanted to look for AP, so I go to the Vikings. They give me all the running back that's available in that Vikings and the price as well. The lowest price and everything that's available and the hours that is uh, cool. So, what's really cool about this, you can also... Uh, uh, go back to all and you can definitely if you're a salary cap player you can definitely choose the amount of salary cap that you want in a specific player so let's say if you're looking for 31 you can get a half back that's within that range you can get them there if they're not available in that area you go from 0 to 10 if they're not available you just go you know so on and so on for the cap value so that's pretty cool as well so you can definitely go to all this is this is where you can use all the players and all the position that's available for that cap value so let's say if you're just looking for just offense you want to go to all offense right so you go to the cap value from 11 to 12 and you just want to go to elites or you can just go to all and it looks up that cap value that's available so you can see here all the cap value players is available and you can definitely choose to buy now which one you want that you can choose so What's really cool, another thing that you can do with the auction block that'll help you work the auction block a little bit more better. This is another tip. Um, uh, you can go to programs. You can definitely look for cheap players too as well. If you're looking for badges, legend, flashback, all the stuff that be categorized just for those players that's available. Let's say if you're looking for just flashback players that automatically looks up all the flashback cards, players, all that stuff that's available for you to get. And also the challenges that you have to do to get these players that's available for. Um, this is where the program is uh, really clicked in for you. You're definitely looking for Pacific high-ranking players and also cheap players if you're looking for jerseys or any signatures or badge masters or anything like that. Now, what's really another thing that's cool about this is that you can go to chemistry.
And you can look for the chemistry offense that you want to build for each player. So if you're looking for a vertical scheme, a West Coast zone, 3-4-4-3, any type of defense. And they also have ultimate plays for you to use as well in the defense. So you can definitely choose whatever base offense that you want and base defense that you want as your chemistry team to build as you go on in much 17. So you can definitely look for jerseys as well in this too. If you're looking for KC players, how to build Pacific KC chemistry, you can do that as well, but they don't have those cards available now, but you can definitely build a defense around that. So, whoo, <laughs> I hope that helped you work the auction block a little bit more better. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And also hit me up on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. All that shit will be in the link in the description below. Make sure you add me on Snapchat because I'll be doing some funny shit on there. And I can talk to you guys, interact. I like Snapchat. It's easy to use shit. <laughs> but also, if you enjoyed the video, if you want a t-shirt, make sure you hit the eye in the right upper corner of the video. You can also watch videos as well on my channel that's available too. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope this tip will help you work the auction block a little bit more better for the people that's just getting into Mutt 17 and trying to build their team and just trying to get into Mutt for the first time. Hope this junk helped you out. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm out this bitch. Deuces.